news for women. Hello and welcome to the Feisty News for Women. I am Tierica. Today is January 3rd, 2023. Here is the Feisty News for Women. 2022 went out with a bang as we learned that Andrew Tate, the famed misogynist, was detained by Romanian officials as part of a human trafficking and investigation, according to The Independent. Tate is just one of several men who rose to prominence for their attacks on women and in 2022 faced a mighty backlash. Let's count the gut punches, shall we? Andrew Tate, Tory Lanez, Kevin Samuels, bye-bye. I want to put the world on notice that if you do not support the equality of genders, we're coming for you. In other news, an investigation in India is underway after 18 children died after ingesting cough syrup. How does this happen? Let's talk with Dr. Kelly Johnson Arbor, the co-medical director of the National Capital Poison Center in Washington, DC. Welcome to the Feisty, Dr. Kelly. What's going on here? Cough syrup was actually contaminated. So generally cough syrup is not harmful to children, but this particular cough syrup was contaminated with a poisonous chemical called ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol can cause kidney failure and it can kill you if you drink it. It's commonly found in antifreeze in the U.S. It's most likely not done on purpose. It most likely was just substituted for another type of solvent. In the United States, cough syrup is safe. Drugs in the U.S., both prescription and over-the-counter, are heavily regulated by the FDA. Once you leave the U.S., though, you don't know what you're getting when you buy stuff over-the-counter or in pharmacies. So if you're in the U.S., you're fine. If you leave the U.S., just be very careful to only use medications that were manufactured within the United States. Thank you, Dr. Kelly, for your expertise. Well, it's time for a break. Guess which country has been kicked out of the U.N. Women's Rights Committee? And how would you react if you heard that an intimacy toy had been created from your social media photos? Both stories when we come back. Don't miss it. Hi, my name is Jinjua King. I'm a cosmetic chemist and brand owner for Fan Love Beauty. Fan Love Beauty is an inspirational beauty brand. We develop beauty products for people who inspire, educate, or entertain the society. Welcome back. I am T. Erica with the feisty news for women. Girl, guess what? The United Nations succeeded in removing Iran from its Women's Rights Commission due to its institutionalized subjugation of women. The Women's Committee of Iran has spoken out against the regime for allowing more than 600,000 underage girls to be forced into marriage every year, while 2,000 women are arrested each day for crimes like not being veiled properly. This is not history. This is happening right now. While one third of Iran's population is currently living in extreme poverty, Iran chooses to focus on controlling and abusing women. In other news, a 26 year old model in Israel was shocked to learn that a Chinese toy company had created an intimacy doll and promoted it using her real name, photos and videos from her social media. Yael Cohen Iris doesn't want to sue the company and she finds it flattering that they think she's attractive enough to sell a toy like that. What a way to spin it. That's it for today. Thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. Remember, be feisty. Women must be seen and heard. News for Women.